If you need a landing page for your business, for your job, for your personal brand, whatever the reason, this is the easiest method to create a clean landing page with just an image and a few prompts. It'll take like five minutes and we're using Cursor, the best AI coding tool on the market. And I'm gonna show you step by step how easy and how simple this truly is. Anybody can do this. Watch how easy this is. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna download Cursor if you haven't already. And I'll put a link in the description to download Cursor. It takes 30 seconds. Then once you have Cursor downloaded, we're gonna open up a new window. And what we're going to do is we are going to press open a folder. Then we're going to go to whatever location you wanna save this at. And we're gonna press new folder. And I'm just gonna call this landing, yo. And we're gonna hit create. And now we're just gonna press open. So that opens a blank folder called landing yo on cursor. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press command I. This opens up composer. Now what we're gonna do is paste that thing I told you to earlier, and then make sure we're on agent. So we're using composer and we're on agent, and we wanna run this template that I created on GitHub locally. And so we're gonna run this. And it'll say, I'll help you run this, whatever commands, yep, run the command pop out terminal, here we go, npm install, run command, good stuff. Now that we have all the dependencies, let's run the server, run the command, and boom. It is running on localhost 3000. What does that mean? Honestly, I don't even know if I can tell you, but you're gonna press command click directly on it, and this is gonna open it up in your web browser. And so this is the cursor landing page template that you can start out with. And all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab an image right here. Look at this. So I'm gonna grab an image and we're just gonna copy this image right here. And I'm just gonna press uh, save to clipboard. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to cursor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that in. And I'm gonna say, copy this landing page perfectly, but call the app say, short instead of say briefly this as closely as you can please focus and do it well and so we're gonna have cursor this is the first real prompt after getting the template set up it's gonna go through read all the files let me create the necessary images oh my God, it just created a logo. Did it just create an SVG? I think it just created an SVG file. Let me create the partner logos, what? There's no way. There's no way it just did that. Now let's update the page title and metadata and boom. And it's running on localhost 3000. We can check it out. So I'm gonna hit accept all for everything. And we're gonna, and we did get an error. And that is perfectly normal. When you get an error, just paste it back in. I'm glad I got that because there are times you get an error. And it said, I see the issue coming from a, missile, a missing Tailwind class definition. Let me fix this and check this out. It's going to go into the correct file, clean it up and get that sorted out for us. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here we go. And look at this. It even... <laughs> The, the logo is very weird looking, but it created these logos via SVG file. And now what we can do is let's go ahead and paste that image back in. So we're gonna paste this image back in and say, focus more on the styling this time. Make sure everything is nice and clean and adds the color, the styles, the font, everything. And so we can copy our web app here and let's run it. Let's go ahead and hit accept and we're gonna come back over here and check it out. Make this for a site called create.ink instead. This is where I put all of my cool APIs that I use in my apps and stuff. A place where people can learn about the cool APIs they can use within Cursor that make their apps 
become amazing and unlock all of the potential with AI tools, AI image creation, AI text creation, other AI related concepts, AI video, AI avatar, training your own AI model, all of these things. And we're going to run this. And then after it changes the style here, we're gonna hook it up to the domain create.inc. We'll go from there. And so now it's gonna just change all of this to create.inc. We can actually watch it happen in real time. I'm gonna to go to the bathroom, but it will update. Wow, this is looking pretty good. Keep this same styling again like we had last time. All right, we have this website, create.inc. Now I want to deploy to Vercel. I want to deploy to Vercel. Please do it all. What we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go to GitHub and on GitHub, once you've signed up, for GitHub, we're just gonna press create new repository, create name, I'm gonna call this create inc, and we're gonna hit create new repository. And this creates a new repository. And what we're gonna do is come back and we're gonna say, I, I just created a new GitHub repository with this name. And I'm gonna paste this in, we're gonna hit submit. So we're gonna run this command, pop out terminal, run the command. And so now we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to go to Vercel and it just gave me the link right here. And now that we're signed in, deploy it to Vercel please for me. And it should do this for us in the terminal, right? So we can run this command for Vercel, we can pop out this terminal and we can keep track of what it's telling us to do right here. We're gonna run this command. Now we're gonna make sure it's, it's asking us a question, yes or no, we're just gonna press yes. Uh, we're going to choose the account that we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and run this. Um, link to existing project. No. Run it. What's your project's name? Landing yo. Like the folder. And then when it asks us uh, in which directory is your code located, it has a dot and a slash. We're just going to press enter. So we did a yes. Is this linked to a new project? We typed in no. Enter. And then landing page. The project of the name of the folder. We just accepted it by pressing enter. Now we're gonna press enter again. Do you want to modify these settings? And so now we're deploying the link. It is loading here. We're gonna go ahead and pop out this terminal while it loads. Your site is being deployed to Vercel. And so we can go back to Vercel here and we can actually see, click on this project right here and we're gonna click on build logs and we can see that the status is building. And so let's see if this succeeds. Boom, ready. We are now loaded up and we can click on this link and we have now deployed this to landingyo.vercel.app. Now what we can do is we can connect this to our custom domain. We can go to Namecheap real quick where I purchased my domain and we can scroll down, find create.inc. We can manage this domain. And what we can do is we can hit advanced DNS. We're in this projects tab right here. We're gonna go to settings, assigning custom domains, custom domains, we're gonna click manage. And we're gonna domains, we're gonna add create.inc. And so now we need to put this in. So we need to add an A record. So we need to add an A record. So add a new record, A record. We're gonna paste this in, host at, add new record. We're gonna add a C name because that's what it says to do down here, C name. We're gonna put this right here. The value is C name and we're gonna hit okay, okay. Your DNN servers are set up correctly. You're set up correctly, cool. So if we go to this domain, create.inc, we can paste this in just like that. And we now have this web app and landing page that we created just by adding a screenshot and a few prompts.